Broadcasting live from the Newsmax studio in New York City, here is Steve Malzberg. Israel has accepted a unilateral ceasefire. It's accepted the uh, Egyptian plan, which we also support, and it is important for Hamas to now step up and be reasonable and understand that you accept a ceasefire, you save lives, and that's the way we can proceed to have a discussion about all of the underlying issues which President Obama has clearly indicated a willingness to do. All right, folks, uh, he said that again today, uh, that we'll, under, we'll discuss the underlying issues once there's a ceasefire. Uh, joining us now is Hank Scheinkopf, Democrat political consultant and Newsmax contributor. Great to see you, sir. Pleasure All right, to be here. Let's start with that, because uh, that really bothers the heck out of me. It's disingenuous. Well, what, what, what we're going to sit, so if Hamas says okay, then we're going to sit down with Hamas and, and address their grievances? What is that? It's disingenuous, first of all. The, if you want to understand why this is occurring, you need to go and look at the White House. Because when the White House didn't say to Iran, which got a four-month extension on building its bombs, stop, guys, then Iran said, no problem, we'll give more money and more weaponry to Hamas and Hezbollah in, in Lebanon. And that's what they did, you see? So that's the facts of life. When you have a weak man in the White House who doesn't understand international politics, you have disaster. This is a disaster. If the similar thing were happening, that rockets were being, was being sent from, from Toronto to Buffalo, which is a lot further than the distances of the Middle East, which Americans really don't understand, because it takes two and a half hours to fly over, uh, over Texas, 20 minutes to fly over Germany, and three minutes to fly over Israel, or thereabouts. Yep. Uh, they don't get that this is, so when you have that happening here, people are jumping out of their skins to go and kill the other guy. But the Israelis are being asked to chill out. Yeah, uh, Obama said the, uh, in, the, in the White House yesterday, uh, Israel has done a significant damage. Now it's time to stop. I mean, how he, does he know what the significant? Of course, damage he doesn't is? know. Of course, right. but but here's the other thing. So so you got if he's relying on the CIA, we should all immediately go out and do something bad to ourselves because you know they haven't gotten anything right since um, let's see. What time is it? What time? Yeah. They haven't gotten anything right for about the last 60 years. So, so Kerry is, is saying to Hamas, stop, stop, and we'll, we'll still talk to you. We'll give you what you want. We'll address your concerns, uh, rewarding them for their, their actions. And now we're giving aid to the residents of Gaza, uh, 40 some odd million dollars, right. which is all going to go to build more tunnels and buy, buy more right. rockets. Which, like the money in Afghanistan and Iraq, it's going to make sure that people have more guns. What is wrong with this administration? Because they believe that the world is, is, is a fine place where there are no bad people. But based upon the experience of the Middle East, where churches are destroyed, where Catholics and Christians are being, it's, they're, they're turning the Middle East into a place that's, Jew, you, that's a Christian Rhine. Right? They want to turn it also into a place that's Judenrein. There is a big surprise here for Hamas. This is not going to work. Well, let's hope it doesn't work. Um, but here's something else that bothers me. Uh, and I know these, that some of these questions are more uh, appropriate for a member of the Israeli Knesset or a, or a uh, military expert. Yeah, we're all part of the international I, I hear you. you right. Know, but, 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 but banking, too. It's a rough I could life see, business. I could yeah. see dropping leaflets and making phone calls and warning people when you're going to bomb them. Okay? Get out of the house. Get out of the town. But now they're on the ground. And they're, they're, they're telling people, and this is why 13 soldiers or seven of them got killed the other day, or one of the reasons, uh, some people say. They're, they're, they're saying, okay, t all right, we're coming into your town. We'll be there, and you know, you better get out. Now they're on the ground. So they booby-trapped the whole area where Israel's coming, and their Israel soldiers get killed. Israel is being asked to do things that no other nation would do, would tolerate to do, or be asked but to do. But they're doing it. And condemned by the world for not being killed. You see, the real issue here, and what the Europeans want, and what the, the enemies of Israel want, is they don't want peace. What they want is dead Jews. Right, they, they want, want the body have, count. They want the body count. I agree. They want the Israelis gone. But here's the problem. They're not leaving. That's the real issue. They're not leaving. Hamas wants them gone, but they're not leaving. Hamas charter says very simply, destruction of the Zionist entity. Okay? Yofi, as we say in Israel, good luck to you. It's not going to happen. The problem here is that decent young men who could be doing so many other things that are being done in Israel, like creating more drugs that save more lives throughout the world because the best cancer, uh, cancer uh, fighting uh, drugs, uh, procardia in generic form, all these drugs and techniques that are saving hundreds of thousands Come of lives every day are being created in Israel. So you have to ask yourself what the real agenda is. The real agenda is to destroy people. No, I, a, absolutely. But I mean, it, it just tears me apart that, I, and I don't get it. I mean, I, I, on one hand, they, they have to know what they're doing. 
But on the other hand, what, you, you warn a neighborhood that you're coming on the ground and you're giving Hamas a chance to, to fortify the and neighborhood. Hamas and, will fortify right, the and neighborhood. Right, and then the soldiers and die. And the tragedy, the tragedy of, those, of the dead, uh, the dead Gazans is overwhelming to me and, uh, and, that's and, caused, and caused by that government, which has two desires. More dead civilians means the world will say, Jews, what are you doing? And more dead Israelis means we got you. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And the President of the United States is sitting there saying, don't worry, we'll sit down and talk. You couldn't get them to the table before. What are you going to do now? What do you think of John Kerry's open mic moment on uh, Sunday where he uh, was caught saying some pinpoint operation, some pinpoint operation. Then when he's asked about it, oh, Hamas this, Hamas that, Hamas that. But we, it no, just. But it, 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 listen, you know, people are left to expose how they really feel when given the opportunity. Right, right. Now we know who John Kerry really is. Well, we knew before. Well, now we, without question, and we it, know now. And he, he, Peter, Peter King said he represents too many people's feelings in the administration. You agree? He is, um, he should go to work for Reverend Wright because they both have the same feelings. Feelings, which is the Jews are idiots and incapable of running their own lives and, have, and are doing something wrong. Well, the fact is, the wrong fellow here is one John Kerry, because if he had done his work, this would not be going on. The, and the Iranians would certainly not be getting four more months to figure out how to blow up the world. When someone tells you they're going to kill you, they mean it in that part of the neighborhood. When the Iranians tell you that they're going to cause a conflagration that will bring the hidden Mahdi, because that's Shia theology the from their perspective. Imam, they mean it. The and they're going up. to do yeah, it. And yeah. Kerry is going to say, you got four more months, you got four <laughs> more months. What's next? Another 100,000 psychotrons? And they're taking some of the sanctions away. It At is, the same time. It, it, this, these, these geniuses in this White House and in this administration have opened up the world to an extraordinary set of circumstances which our generations will pay for for quite right. some time. So how does this, I mean, bring, it always comes back to politics, um, how does this affect Hillary? The when does she start having to say, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, Here, here's, the, here's the bad news. The bad news for Hillary haters is that, um, and the good news for Hillary lovers, is that foreign affairs tend generally not to be significant in presidential elections, except Even, in the case when there's a war going on that right. Americans are involved in, and American troops are now being pulled out of Iraq and Afghanistan with minor forces remaining. So it doesn't matter. It, it won't matter. Um, if there is American life lost someplace, that has value. Dwight David Eisenhower was a very popular man, and one of the ways he got elected president in 1952 was by saying, with, with terrible ads, but they were for the period of time, terrible by well, today's you didn't make them, that's wonderful. Sure. No, actually, it was, it was my uncle. No, it wasn't my uncle. <laughs> um, by saying, I will go to Korea. You know, it was, that was true. And, and that, was, uh, that was the way he got there, by being a general who could be a peacemaker. The problem Senator Clinton, uh, Secretary and Senator Clinton faces going into this is that the Obama record overall is terrible, and even the Wall Street Journal acknowledges today, I think, you know, the New York Times, that um, that the, the 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 negative effect of this is yet to be seen in polling data. Yeah. No. Well, okay. Now here is uh, some polling data. I'd like uh, you to weigh sure. in on this from sure. the Politico uh, on Hillary's tenure as Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. uh, you have 32% uh, said poor, 21% said fair, which is 53%. 14 said excellent, and 28 said good. So that's uh, that's 42%. Uh, so I mean, you know, 53 to 42. I mean, I, I think this book tour has has done her immense harm. I, I don't think. The the book tour has done the harm. I think the book hasn't moved, which is a different issue, and that may be generational. You know, the generational shift going on in this country, she is a baby boomer. She's going to be seven years old when the bell goes off or thereabouts, number one. Number two, you can't run away from the smallpox if you have it. Barack Obama is a problem. He's a problem for Democrats. He's a problem for Hillary Clinton. And the tale, whether she runs or not, that tale will be told ultimately by what occurs in the midterm elections. If the Democrats take an immense shellacking, how she separates herself from him and creates a new third way will be very, very difficult. We hear so much in these uh, new books, uh, one in particular, that, you know, there's a deal that Obama's going to support her and blah, blah, Ed blah. Book? Uh, not Ed Klein. I think it's a new I'm book that's Klein's out today. Book, right? You are? Yeah, yeah. Have your autograph? No, you can't. Okay, sorry. Uh, I, I, I'm not I was going to sign a Jimmy Hoffa, but he's... <laughs> yeah. We would have had breaking news the on breaking that news one. Breaking news on that right, one, yeah. But seriously... I'm um, trying to make breaking news, but you won't let me. I want to jump up and down and shout, pull my hands out and shout. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you could do that. I want to be one of the Isley Brothers my I think you gave me some some breaking news with the... But uh, go ahead, ask the question. With the uh, Reverend Wright, you should go join Reverend Wright. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. But uh, now, you know what? If I think I do remember the question, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, it, it was Hillary, and it was the deal. There's a reported deal. I mean, th does she seek Obama's support, 
or does she run away from Obama ultimately is what I, the question the is. The move is to get in the middle somehow without alienating African Americans. We don't know who's going to show up in the Republican uh, general election yet. We don't know if there's a real primary. I think Elizabeth Warren, I said it on this show, would be a serious problem. And Did by you the hear way, her at Netroot? She is. She's wow. a serious problem because she represents that Democratic Party the same way that the conservatives represent that Republican Party. There is no center anymore. And what Bill Clinton created to the benefit of this country was a center. One can complain about him, like him, don't like him, but politically he did an extraordinary important thing for this country. He created a place where people of different points of view could meet. Yeah, there was that no longer there. exists. Yeah. Yeah, there was some and that is the problem, and that is the problem she faces, Hillary Clinton, and that's the problem that the Republicans face. Interesting, my friend, always. Thank you very much. Thank you so Great much for you. And, and uh, now that you're off your uh, jury, jury duty, you'll yeah. be I'm back. I'm going to be back here. Often and often and often. I hope so. Hank Sheinkopf, ladies and gentlemen, Democratic political consultant and Newsmax contributor. And uh, you know what's coming up next. Give me five. I got to tell you, all the give me fives today are extraordinary, if I say so myself. So you're going to want to uh, make sure you stay tuned for this one. It's coming up next here on the Steve Malsberg Show only on Newsmax Television.